Good evening, everyone. Welcome into JSY Talks Football. This is your Leeds United versus Stoke City match review. If you could do with that nice thing before we get into this and smash a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, get your comments in. So Leeds took on Stoke City, quarter to eight kickoff, and they've got a 1 0 win. For me, it wasn't the most vintage of performances. In a lot of ways, we looked tired, sluggish, but we got the main thing of the three juicy points, clean sheet, and we keep in tower with Ipswich and Leicester City. So, overall, performance-wise, like I said, not the most vintage, looked leggy, tired, but we got the one goal, and we could have had many more goals. You know, for me, Stoke City's goalkeeper made some absolutely fantastic saves and kept them in the game, you know, Joseph were unlucky when he came on. He got cleared off the line by the Stoke City defender. They ended up with 10 men after they obviously got a red card. Ilan Meslier, for me, made some absolutely fantastic saves in the game and kept us in it as well. And for me, was my man of the match was Meslier. I thought Connor Roberts played very well. Put some really good crosses in. Dan James, what a goal. Well taken goal from the angle that that was at. was a fantastic goal to score. So, yeah, overall... Not the best performance, but with one clean sheet, three points, happy days. So I'm just going to get into some possession starts and stuff like that. And we'll show you this. So tonight, Leeds United had 58.5% of the possession, 15 shots, seven on target, two off target, six blocked, 83% passing compared to 74.1%. Of Stoke, clear cut chances three, eight corners to Stoke City's two, three offsides to Stoke City's two, fouls won 13, they won seven, we got one yellow card, they had one yellow card, also they had a man sent off. So there's our last result, few results 1 0 win at Stoke, draw at Huddersfield, 3 2 loss at Chelsea. So that speaks obviously for itself. We'll go and have a look at the tables. This is now being updated. So now we've got Leicester City currently in first place on 81 points. Ipswich Town in second place on 78 points. Leeds United currently in third place on 76 points. But Southampton have got a game in hand and they play tomorrow. They're currently in fourth place on 70 points. I mean, Ipswich again, just um, there you go. Last gasp win, as they seem to do. And they are away on Saturday to Cardiff City. So I will be doing the watch one for that one as well. Obviously, Leicester on Saturday. Oh, they're, they're at Watford. No, they're not. I'm lying. They have got Hull City away from home. That could be an interesting result. I think Hull picked up a draw as well tonight, 1-1. So that could be an interesting result, guys. So look, well, there are thereabouts. Ipswich got the win. Leicester got the win. But all we need to do is keep concentrating on our business. Now we move forward. We have got a massive, massive game at Sheffield Wednesday on Friday night, which is live on Sky, 8 p.m. kickoff. Sheffield United got a really good result today at home to Plymouth Argyle 1 0. So, yeah, guys, not a real lot to talk about in that game. It was a hard game, a hard watch one to do. But the main thing is we've got the three points. Roberts looked good. Jan, Dan James with a fantastic goal. Patrick Bamford, I thought, played well today for me. I thought Cree Somerville just needs to stop hanging on to that ball and just give us that passion. Now, there, were a, there were a bit in first half where Bamford made a lovely one foot. He was pointing where he wanted it. And Cree just hung on to it a bit long. And the ball got away from him. Sometimes just, you know... He seems to be side before self, and it's not itself before side. You know, you know, he's self before so, before side, and he needs to be side before self. Just easy football. Don't try and walk it into the net. Just pass, easy passing triangles. We move, we roll. So yeah, I think both of them are carrying a knot, judging the other two and some of them for me. And I think after Friday's game at Chef Wednesday, that international break can't come quick enough for us. I think we need the rest. I think we need to recharge our batteries. And then we go again away from home on the 30th of March against Watford. So overall, guys, for me, three points, clean sheet, 
and an okay performance. You know, Meslier kept us in it, like I say. He made some really good saves. But also, Stoke City's goalkeeper made four outstanding saves. It was nice to see Joseph come on and get some minutes. He looked really sharp. He was unlucky not to get a goal. It was also nice to see Archie Gray get a rest and come on for the last five or ten minutes. Hopefully, we'll start at Chef Wednesday on Friday. We've just got that one game left to do. Can we can get the three points from that? Then we go into that international break. So enjoy the rest of your evening, guys. Make sure we're smashing a like on this video. Get let's get this video to 30 likes. Subscribe into the channel if you're new. Hitting that notification bell so you don't miss another video that I upload and do and spread the word, guys. We're on the road to 300. Let's get us on 300 subscribers by the end of this month. So I'll be back tomorrow night doing the West Brom. QPR watch along. Take care, guys. Please, please, please. We're marching on to the Premiership. Take care, guys. Peace out. Have a good rest of your evening. I'll see you all again Friday on the flip. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.